Sanford to a victory in four overtimes. Sanford will stay simple. First play of the game, a rush for Jay Stanton. He'll get two. You kind of figure hit a guy five or six yard deep. Don't look for the home run ball. This is a safe pass. Stanton breaks a tackle and now we'll get a first down. And the impact players presented by Bromberg. You saw Stanton there. He has two turnovers. He threw t uh, three touchdowns and he ran in for the game winner from two yards out. That'll be a first down catch made by Chris Schelling. Sanford coaches looking to get Schelling more involved in the offense. Quick slant. Three down linemen for the Paladins. Welch looks to pass. Slips a tackle, tucks, and slides down at around the 31-yard line. Brian O.K. on the tackle. Gain of five. Sam the Bulldogs on the run. There's a handoff. Andrew Tony, A.J. Tony, rather, with an outstanding run. Andrew played basketball, A.J. plays football. That's a 16-yard run field. That's Washington, Washington, a clear path. He's in for an easy touchdown, and Sanford leads 6-0. Eight-yard run for Montreal Washington. Washington was out last week for Sanford, comes back in and on his field. That's Washington, Washington, a clear path. He's in for an easy touchdown, and Sanford leads 6-0. Eight-yard run for Montreal, Washington. Washington was out last week for Sanford. Comes back in and on the field. That's Washington. Washington, a clear path. He's in for an easy touchdown, and Sanford leads 6 0. Eight yard run for Montreal, Washington. Washington was out last week for Sanford. Comes back in and on the field. That's Washington. Washington, a clear path. He's in. For an easy touchdown, and Sanford leads 6-0. Eight-yard run for Montreal, Washington. Washington was out last week for Sanford. Comes back in and on his field. That's Washington. Washington, a clear path. He's in for an easy touchdown, and Sanford leads 6-0. Eight-yard run for Montreal, Washington. Washington was out last week for Sanford, comes back in and on his field. That's Washington, Washington, a clear path. He's in for an easy touchdown and Sanford leads 6-0. Eight yard run for Montreal, Washington. Washington was out last week for Sanford, comes back in and on his Stanton in the backfield. Welch in the air, finds his man. And good tackle, so not a whole lot. That was DeMarcus Ware, I beg your pardon. DeMarcus Ware in the backfield, and that's win in motion. And Granger, the quarterback, just enough for the first down. I think we'll see where the spot is, see where they spot the ball. He is right at the sticks, and they're going to move it. It's a design quarterback draw here. Good job by Granger. Back offensively. And a couple of running backs to choose for Liam Welch. Montreal Washington gains four, second down coming up. Of all fits in this game, if they kept it up, Sanford stays on the ground. That'll be Demarcus Ware, who's missed about a game and a half. And it was Sanford to try and get something going offensively. Welch, short pass and caught. And then breaking a tackle is Tony. Not as exciting as last week's missed tackle and then into the end yards and a touchdown. Good run that time by DeMarcus Ware. And that's a first down for Sanford. So the bull methodical. Creamer on the outside and he'll come close to a first down. Picks up about nine. Jai Creamer, a guy that Sanford would love to get in in the first quarter by 14. Ware with a circus catch and then able to escape and get a few extra yards. 
Yeah, Ware able to avoid a negative play with Woodley. An incredible catch, the way he went up, able to push. Schelling, can he get to open space? Made one man miss briefly. And that'll be a one yard gain, if that. Dominic Roberto. Granger under pressure. Gets the pass free, tipped away by Herring. By Matthew, rather, by Christian Matthew on the defense. Trying to go to Thomas Gordon again. He has the big win in Watkins. In fact, that was 32, not 22. Yep, 32, not 22, so it was Abrams. And Watkins, 63% of his passes, he's thrown for over 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns. Screen to the near side. It's Creamer. Creamer got hit by Donovan Perriman. I think it's fair to say after that first drive, and if you felt that Ola Duncan was healthy, you had to make a change to try to give yourself a chance in this football game. Montreal, Washington. Gain of four. And sometimes we overthink it. Fans, meeting, we need a spark. Nothing that Liam Welch did or didn't do. We just need a change. Fast reception by Montreal Washington. Gain of seven. In the Sanford scheme of things, start. Big rush, Oladokun. Avoids and then finds his wide receiver for a first down. A.J. Tony, And that's where Oladoka shows you what makes him stand out. It's a great rush by Furman. Washington makes the turn. Heads north. His momentum will carry him close to a first down, but short. Gain of four. Sanford going for it. Little flip pass caught. Washington. Got hit from behind, but he does get the first down. Inside the red zone for Sanford. This is a good play by Oladok. In space, Schelling. Schelling will get to about the 11-yard line after a gain of five. Need about five for the first down. Oladokun by himself on a called run. He has the first down inside the five. Gained eight. Oladokun came into this game. This Vice has one-on-one -on -one coverage. They go to Vice on the fade, and Michael Vice for a touchdown catch. His third touchdown of the year. What an incredible catch by the freshman in the end zone. He had two touchdown catches last week. Versus the Citadel, and this time they put. Vice has one on one coverage. They go to Vice on the fade, and Michael Vice for a touchdown catch. His third touchdown of the year. What an incredible catch by the freshman in the end zone. He had two touchdown catches last week. Versus the Citadel, and this time they put the freshman out. Vice has one on one coverage. They go to Vice on the fade, and Michael Vice. For a touchdown catch, his third touchdown of the year. What an incredible catch by the freshman in the end zone. He had two touchdown catches last week versus the Citadel, and this time they put the freshman out. Vice has one on one coverage. They go to Vice on the fade, and Michael Vice for a touchdown catch, his third touchdown of the year. What an incredible catch by the freshman in the end zone. He had two touchdown catches last week versus the Citadel, and this time they put the freshman out. Vice has one-on-one -on -one coverage. They go to Vice on the fade, and Michael Vice for a touchdown catch, his third touchdown of the year. What an incredible catch by the freshman in the end zone. He had two touchdown catches last week versus the Citadel, and this time they put the freshman out. Pitch, win, bottled up. You can hear a mock round of applause, realizing what a monster first half he has. No yards on that game. 
That's going to be short of a first down. Linesman on the far side signaling about a yard short after a two and a half yard gain. Adams and Vice on the far side, near side Tony. They try to get Tony in space. He's in the flat. That'll gain out to around the 33 for a gain of seven. Second down. Less than a half minute before the snap. That's caught by Stanton and wisely gets out of bounds. One thing you see from Sanford, they're playing a number of freshmen, especially at the running back position with both Stanton and Tony, but they're guys who have awareness. That was a. And Stanton gets it. First down for Stanton. About the 32 yard line after an 11 yard pickup. And for Sanford, you're looking for a positive. You're going, you're looking for execution from an offensive standpoint. Stanton again comes near side, is able to make the turn. Second level, still on his feet, tiptoes down the sidelines and then gets tackled as well as one of the referees. We've already had one official go out today on that sideline. This time, another one gets rolled up after what's a really good run by Stanton. And there is the Sanford defensive front stopping Devin Abrams for a one yard loss. And from the sin, I'm in relief, running the offense. Devin Wynn, and Wynn will be stopped short of a first down. Number 22, Devin Wynn on the carry. 95, Brett Granger. Brett Granger. <laughs> Georgia State, just gotta get out of the peach, uh, peach tree state. Amin with a chance to make some hay. Near side, over the 30. Right at the 35. And how about Atkins getting in on the tackle as well? He does a little bit of everything. And a pretty great job so far. Yeah, and he's a guy that's uh, scheduled to graduate in three years. Shelling. Shelling will pick up eight or nine. He'll call it nine. His four field goals last year against Samford. This is Washington. It's the favorite spot for the Sanford offense is what we call it being out in the flat. Trying to get the ball to either Washington or Tony. Montreal, Washington on the carry. Washington came out of his shoe on that run. And Washington's a guy that Sanford uses. Oladokun called his own number two and then stretches. I see a more moving with less than four remaining in the third quarter. Oladokun has some running room on the right side. And he'll slide down for contact. Number two, Chris Oladokun on the carry. He picks up five yards. 14th ranked Furman. Out in front of Sanford, there's a breakdown. Furman has scored in every quarter. 28 in the first quarter. Um, Sanford could use some help from that guy. <laughs> I don't know. Pressure coming, dumps it over the middle, and it is caught. Catcher's pass is complete, number 17. Walker. Devin Walker. So freshman to freshman. Hatcher, quick hit. That's caught. Torrance Catcher's Pollard. Pass is complete. Earlier this season, head coach Chris Hatcher won the 150th. Rushing attempt for Furman. Handoff to number 26, Chase Absher. Chase Absher on the rush. Motion for the offensive line. Legal, all legal. Sisson's going to put one in the air, and that is intercepted by the Bulldogs. Coming out of the traffic is, is number 47, Chris Edmonds with the INT.
Paladins over the Bulldogs, 58-14. We are in the fourth quarter. First team, Tie. The son of the coach. Ty Hatcher's pass. And Scott. To number 86, Sam Fleming. Sam Fleming. They will stick with Sisson. He's been on for a while. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage on that rush. You were talking about Callie Chiswick and then his father. Just about everybody's still in the end zone. Sims again. A little bit more room. Again, that Sam, that uh, Furman defense really had stood up today after a three-yard gain there. After that drive, excellent adjustments by Furman. A screen pass. A little short of the first down marker. Number 37, Peyton.